Hi there everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on something a little bit new and unique and interesting. Uh, we've got some boarding torpedoes here uh, designed by Scorched Earth and distributed by Every Little War here in North America. And um, let me tell you a little, bit of a little bit of a story about this. So uh, I run an annual event every year called Wargasm and uh, we've got one coming up this spring. And I wanted something with a little bit of uniqueness as far as terrain goes. Now I had approached Stuart and spoke with him about some of his other terrain that, that he was uh, that he was working on, but we kind of were talking back and forth, and um, we came up with a bit of an idea here, and that is going to be for these these boarding torpedoes. Now, the original requirement was to have uh, 25 seats, and you can actually see the seat backs here uh, as we're talking. And the idea was to transport a whole platoon of uh, Imperial Guardsmen. Now, it used to be 25 and then uh, 10 and 10 as a minimum, but uh, you know we're just going to use them as basically spawn points and things like that. But it looks like it should be able to transport gobs and gobs of infantry, which is, which is pretty cool. So Stuart got back to us uh, uh, with, a, with a cool idea and a design, and we went from there, and this is the ending result. Now, these are available for sale on his website, or sorry, on the Every Little Earth, uh, Every Little War website, and on the Scorched Earth website as well. And I think that there's a listing of other, uh, you know, kind of distributors throughout, uh, you know, the world, which is great. And um, they look awesome. They're really, really cool looking. So I haven't actually assembled mine. Uh, Stuart sent me some screenshots uh, of these things as we were uh, working through them. So I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, this kind of built and together. So what I want to show you first was the general packaging for this guy. Uh, it's uh, the 13 and 3 quarter inch uh, sheet. Again, it's about uh, 12 and change inches wide. Um, so transports very well. It's about the size of a regular uh, cutting board, uh, hand for scale. And um, you can see that there are different parts. There's the MDF uh, pieces, of course, which are here. And you'll also see that there is these, these kind of soft card uh, other components here that are a little bit more detailed than the MDF itself. So kind of detail where it matters. Uh, flipping it over here, you'll see that we've got um, essentially the rough size of the, of the torpedo itself here, which is awesome. Uh, you'll see that we've got the runners here that uh, you know kind of drive it through as it drills through the hull. Uh, Stuart's put so much attention and detail into this, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I cannot wait to get this thing all set up. Uh, so you'll see things like the Every Little War logo burned in, the Scorched Earth terrain burned in there as well, and uh, looking pretty darn solid. So uh, let me get the cellophane off of this, and we'll start looking at the individual sheets themselves. Okay, so I've removed the cellophane off of the uh, kit here, and we've got uh, five of these little cards. Now, these cards represent kind of the inside or all the detail pieces in there. You'll see we've got kind of the lights going on here. Uh, this is kind of the, the, the seats area here, and you'll see that on the sides of each of the seats, you've got little fine details like extra lights, uh, vents, you know, medical kit, fire extinguisher, all that stuff. So just a little bit of extra detail that's going on in our models. Very, very cool. Now what's interesting again is the cuts are so good. Where was it? This one here. Uh, the cuts on these are so good. There's so little flash that you can see that this is literally just kind of hanging out by a little bit and you just got to give it a little tug and off it comes. But what's really nice to see is just that there's going to be very minimal types of kind of flash cleanup and all of that. So very pleased to see that the lights are really cool and interesting and they feel like lights right so it's uh it's nice to see those little bit of details really stand out another one fell out so again crazy well cut now this is the base of the torpedo now there's two models for the base one is kind of a you know it's a fully rounded uh, torpedo and this one lays flush with the table so you only get a half torpedo that kind of comes up and over like this and i think i like that design a little bit better it feels a little bit better. Uh, it looks like it's burrowed through the ship and now they're kind of getting off on the deck and all that. So really, really sweet. I also like the fact that we've got these little runners that um, basically these caterpillar tracks. So as this ship is drilling through the the, the, the walls or the, the surface or what have you, um, these little guys will just keep the thing moving while the drills up at the front just dive in and, and go right away. Again, the cuts are really, really nice. Uh, very little burning, even if, even especially when we're dealing with like the you know kind of the deep holes or the holes that have been burned out. Uh, very little additional burning, and it's a very nice, clean cut. Uh, not uh, definitely not a lot of burning, which I've seen in in the issues before. 
Moving on to our next piece here, we've got our, uh, this is going to be our kind of our front drill assembly. These are the thrusters at the back for the drill that drive it along. Uh, there's a piece that's got the main motor of the, of the, um, of the pod, of the torpedo basically, and that is going to be in here. And I'm loving the markings that we have, um, you know, the seventh kind of pod or the seventh assault group or whatever, you know, the hazard striping in here, just very nice, very intricate little details that we'll paint up and it'll look pretty darn sweet. There's extra cables. Uh, this is the, um, this looks a bit like the caterpillars for the outside of the hull, but this is actually to hold all these segmented engines together. Very, very nice. Next up, we've got our individual pods themselves. So the way that this is designed, and it's absolutely ingenious, is that first plate that we saw, uh, we build the body of the torpedo, and then we slide in different components. So the plan ultimately is to have, um, this is like a five uh, kind of guardsman human sized uh, set of seats here. But I think the plan in the future is to do some for Space Marines where, you know, you can get Terminator sized, you fit two in or something like that. But, um, you know, you know, Stuart's got these all kind of set up so that we have lots and lots of flexibility. Again, loads of detail printed in, you know, the grating on the floor, going to look awesome washed. Now there's five of these, which is, um, you know, pretty much the same, you know, the same thing all the way through. Uh, even in the instructions, they've got some pieces there where you're going to want to cut uh, certain elements of rod, uh, which is provided very subtly. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Maybe, yeah, I see a little bit of the gleam in there. Uh, but it's provided very subtly uh, out of these little slots that have been put in. And then that's just your rod for your, um, for your kind of hinges and working doors and all of that. So very nice kit, very easy to understand. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the build instructions. I didn't actually get them with this particular kit. I kind of got the first ones off the press, but um, I do have the instructions in a PDF form and I'm sure they'll ship uh, the next time around. But the instructions are quite easy to read. So what I'll do is I'll assemble it. I'll come back, I talk a little bit about the instructions and all that, uh, but I'm gonna be spending the next little bit of time here uh, just building these pods and then we'll take a look at the finished product. All right, so I've got it all assembled here, and um, for an event that I run here called Wargasm, I ended up actually having to uh, just do a quick speed paint for the outside. Uh, I didn't have the time to get it up and, you know, open organizing event thing, the whole thing. Anyway, um, but uh, what I did get was a little bit of an emergency paint job on here, and uh, but I did get it assembled, and I wanted to show you guys kind of what it looks like uh, when it's all done. So you'll see here that we've got that main core component here, and in that, I mean, the design is ingenious. What you can do is you can take the individual pieces. Uh, this is the uh, engine component here. And you just slide them in like so. And it ends up coming together to form uh, the pod itself, which is, which is pretty sweet. And I'll move these around a little bit. And you can see with it all loaded up, it's got this really nice kind of look and feel to it. And, uh, you know, they fit in fairly well. If I don't put them in at a goofy angle. Uh, they fit really well. And you can see here that um, th this thing is massive. It's 13 and a half inches long uh, from the front of the drills to the back of the thrusters. Uh, the drills themselves are looking pretty cool. See if I get this in frame. And they kind of echo the, um, you know, kind of the tunnel drilling machines that are out there. Uh, the thrusters look really awesome from behind. Uh, you can see here that, you know, I left them black on the inside and really just generally a really sweet model to look at. And I love these tracks that are along the top. So you can picture this thing, you know, kind of drilling through the hull of a ship or drilling through the ground, being pulled along by these multiple tracks. So uh, really darn solid at that. And I wanted to show you basically a little bit of the detail that's in there. So uh, with the engine here, uh, now this again, this was kind of the quick emergency paint job, uh, but with the engine here, you can see all the detail that's coming up, the venting and all of that. So this is all going to get that, you know, kind of silvery, worn, uh, weathered, you know, exhaust kind of treatment. So that's kind of the main engine section. And then we have five of these, essentially these, crew compartments and they're all modular. I mean, we could put in heavy weapons, we could do uh, essentially whatever we wanted uh, ultimately with the design of this. Um, but what I wanna show you is just let me open this up and go like this. So you can see here, 
Uh, the inside of the torpedo is set up for a five person team and I got my guardsman here so he would be sitting in there fairly comfortable with his friends on these really tight seats and strapped in by these um, these kind of safety bars that come down. Now, um, this is uh, obviously a plastic or acrylic, uh, just a little bit of a little bit of a post here. And uh, you have the options actually to have these up or down. Um, you get the bits for both, which is great. And you can also see all the paper kind of detail on the inside. Now, let me just uh, pull this out here. So this is the standalone unit. I just wanted to uh, not paint this obviously yet, uh, but uh, the, the full you know kind of door articulation on the top is pretty sweet. Um, I'm really liking the little bits of detail that show up in here, just to add a lot more personality to the inside. It could have very easily just been a standard MDF. Uh, you know, just kind of layout, uh, but you've got the grating on the floor, you've got the medical first aid kit right in here, uh, you've also got the fire uh, extinguisher in this panel right here, and you know, just a really cool, you know, lots of details in here, you'll see that they've got the 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 kind of the interior lighting that goes on uh, with this and this is all card but very well cut and super high detailed the padding on the seats and the headrests uh, all very very neat so uh, really looking forward to getting these guys all figured out and put together but I love you know for MDF this is quite the amazing uh, piece so with this all assembled, I would say definitely uh, definitely worth the cash. Um, they're not the most inexpensive thing in the world, but it is a piece that will be uh, you know a center point to your table. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of kind of narrative scenarios based around the idea of either getting to the torpedo or getting away from the torpedo. You can do scenarios where you're boarding other tables if you wanted to, if you're doing a you know a larger scale game or some kind of you know really in depth scenario. Uh, they were a little bit of work to put together, but that's to be expected with the size of this model. Uh, the instructions were really well detailed. Uh, I really liked uh, you know kind of the experience of putting it together and because these pods are modular I cannot wait to see what Scorched Earth is going to do with the rest of the opportunity uh, to kind of fill these out a little bit here. So um, I'll leave you with that. Uh, hopefully I'll be getting to painting off the rest of the inside soon but I just wanted to say yeah these are these are pretty darn amazing. So uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, if you liked the video please hit that like button it really helps get the video and the channel out there and if you're not a member already please subscribe there's also a little bell right beside that subscribe button and it'll give you notifications of all of our future videos uh, and until then I'll see you in the next video